Hello, I'm doing a review for this book. It's Your Inner Fish by Neil Shubin. So I've wanted to read this book for ages. I'd read Shubin's The Universe Within and thought it was amazing. He wrote Your Inner Fish first, so I was really keen to read it. Although when I tried a few years ago, I couldn't get into it, so I've had it shelved for a while. This time round, I found it easy to read and interesting and it held my attention all the way through, even if some bits did make me go, ew. Your Inner Fish explains how evolution has progressed and where many other species have laid the groundwork for what have eventually become human bodies. This is really interesting and Shubin demonstrated things like the links between how fins turned into arms, how the inner ear was formed, how sex organs moved from the chest to a lower abdomen and why this means men are more susceptible to hernia. It's written in a very accessible style and was an interesting read and I'm glad I finally got around to it. Although it does feel a bit dated because of the speed that science moves. The book explained how the workings of bodies have developed in earlier species of fish, amphibians and reptiles and then been refocused in mammals. It was very interesting and humbling. It brings life on earth all under the same roof and it makes me feel that there is a higher order than just pure chance and circumstance. There were some fascinating descriptions of how bodies of different categories of species work in similar ways, such as the history of odour capturing, as well as genes that can grow a part of a body and will grow the corresponding part when put into a different species, if that makes sense. It was fascinating to understand more of how nature takes the components of one species and adapts them for a new species. But the way scientists study these things is seriously gross. Some of the descriptions of experiments that are done to make these biological discoveries made me feel uncomfortable. And I had to question, do they really need to do that to animals? Experimenting on fetuses and seeing what comes out? It makes me feel physically sick. Don't get me wrong, the conclusions are interesting, but it feels wrong to experiment with life and living things in this way. Shubin covers what it is to have a body and how cells work in different ways to form different types of structures. For example, the patterns that cells arrange themselves in to form dense bones. It was all very interesting and gives the reader an appreciation for how magnificent life is in all its complexity. I would certainly recommend this book for anyone who wants to explore how amazing biology is with some easy to follow examples of how extraordinary and intelligent our genetic makeup is. Okay, there it is again. Thank you.